Hi everybody, Paul here. Something that a lot of people are unaware of is some electrical plugs actually have a fuse inside the plug. These can be found on washing machines, refrigerators, freezers, vacuum cleaners, toasters, clothes irons, lamps, radios, televisions, computers, and other things. This plug has a fuse which is on a household fan. You can see looking at this plug, it's not something that's really that noticeable, especially if you're not looking for it. Some plugs like this one have a little removable cover, while others have no removable cover and require the entire plug to be taken apart. This little cover just pops right off. Next you slide this little cover open, and there's the fuse. If you don't know what a fuse is, it's a safety device that prevents too much electrical current from damaging the electrical circuitry. It also helps reduce electrical shock and fire. If there's ever too much electrical current, a wire element inside the fuse will melt and cut off the electrical current flow. This will require the fuse to be replaced with a new fuse of the same size and amperage rating. So if all of a sudden your appliance doesn't work, first check to make sure that the wall outlet has power by plugging something else into it. If the wall outlet does have power, then you'll need to see if the plug has a fuse. If the plug does have a fuse, then you'll need to inspect the fuse. Some fuses will allow you to visually inspect and see if the wire element on the inside has melted, while other fuses like this one do not. If yours does not, then there are a couple of ways that you can test the fuse. The easiest way to test the fuse is to take a digital multimeter and place it on the continuity setting, which will have a volume and an arrow with a plus sign symbol. Touching the two probes together will make a beep sound which shows that electrical current is allowed to flow without resistance between the two test probes. If you test the fuse with a digital multimeter, then there's no need to remove the fuse from the plug. Now touch the probes on each end of the fuse. If it beeps, then the fuse is good. If it does not beep, then the fuse is bad and needs to be replaced. This fuse is good. The other way you can test it is to get a light bulb and a battery from a flashlight. You'll also need to get two paper clips and you'll also need to remove the fuse from the plug. First straighten the two paper clips and hold the paper clips on each end of the battery while touching the other ends of the paper clips to the light bulb to make sure it lights up. Next test the fuse the same way you tested the light bulb, except this time hold one end of the fuse to the bottom of the light bulb and touch the other end of the fuse with the paper clip. If the light bulb lights up then the fuse is good. If it does not light up then the fuse is bad. This fuse is good. One other thing to keep in mind is using a surge protector strip will protect a fuse in an electrical plug from going bad by stopping too much electrical current from reaching the fuse. I hope you found this helpful, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now.